Yeah, Troy, I can see when you were driving a lot of experience there and obviously a lot of expertise with throttle control. It was good to have a bit of a technical drive again. It's been a little while, so it was nice to put some of those skills to use. Tristan, what a lot of people fail to understand is that when you modify your four-wheel drive, you lift it, you put on bigger tyres, you're actually, with those bigger tyres, changing the gearing. Most people will instantly notice that they'll have a decrease in fuel economy, but also in the speed and the RPMs when they're travelling on the freeway. So by re-gearing your vehicle, and in most cases, you're going from somewhere in the threes, like 3.7 or 3.9 ratio, to a, a 4.1, 4.2, or 3.45, 4, 4.8. Depending on the size of your tyres will depend on how you re-gear your off-road vehicle. And for most people you jump up a couple of points, so from a 4.1 to a 4.3, and that'll help when you've gone up an inch or two in tyre size to get back power, economy. Your low range will be better as well for when you're crawling and you are off-road. That means you'll have more grip without revving the car so hard, it'll be able to crawl after your lift kit and your tyres, re-gearing is probably the next thing that you really, really should do if you're serious about off-roading. And basically changing the gear sets will extend each gear, so make it a little bit easier when you're towing a vehicle or doing a hill climb. When you change the gear ratios and put a shorter ratio, which is a higher number, it will help with the pickup and takeoff when you're towing or when you're starting at the bottom of a hill and wanting maximum grip and it keeps the ratio low so that you can crawl up hills. Definitely worthwhile doing. It also will help with the longevity of all of the other moving parts on the car as well. So even if you aren't running our axles, it'll help keep the standard ones alive a bit longer too because they're not working so hard. I would almost go as far as to say changing the gear sets would be the biggest change and the best change that you could make. The Nitro Gear and Axle Company source OE manufacturers and then increase the processes that they do for manufacturing product to make sure that they're getting the right materials to make a good strong gear set, but also the finishing processes make a nice quiet running gear as well. So if you're interested in re-gearing your 4x4 or off-road vehicle, you can go to www.nitro-gear.com.au or you can head to your nearest 4x4 specialist and ask for Nitro and we'll set you up with a set of gears.